Well, thank you very much. We want to extend our heartfelt greetings to every one of you for gathering here today. We will also like to recognize and appreciate you all for anticipating the entire originative that we are gathered here for. I'm Fode and Masakwe, and I would like to officially welcome you to the Kumis Youth Movement press conference as the chairman on executive, the national chairman of the Kumis Youth Movement, the chairman Ben Believe Topa will be speaking to you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, um, Comrade Adil Lodge, for the revolutionary massacre. Distinguished colleagues and executive members of the Kumi's Youth Movement, executives and members of the Council of Patriot Youth Wing, the collaborating political parties, youth and student communities, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Cummins Youth Movement CYM official press statement, October 21st, 2019. The Cummins Youth Movement denounces and dissolves its support to Mr. Alexander Benedict Cummins and calls on the CPP to expel the ANC from the collaborating political parties effective immediately. So, so. This expulsion is intended for the betterment of Liberia and conglomerating the efforts of all of us youths and true patriots. We bring you greetings from the Pinanco of Youthful Consciousness with the executives and members of the CYM. We are moved with earnest and sincere remorse to deliberate to the Liberian people with a sense of obligation, speaking truth and factuality for the betterment of our dearest country, Mama Liberia. Over the years, we have promoted and supported the image and vision of Mr. Elizana B. Cummins, standard bearer of the Alternative National Congress ANC, believing that this character was an ideal individual that could prioritize the progress of this republic, Liberia. On the contrary, we have seen the complete opposite of our support to Mr. Cummins and of his ANC, of recent wrenching from his over-ambitiousness for power, political greed, his inability to consider country first before self, and his continuous undermining of the opposition bloc that we believe is a recipe and trend that could undermine the current plan of the Liberian masses to unseat the current failed ruling establishment at the 2023 general and presidential elections. Oh. Oh. With this gross molestation of our precious support that Mr. Cummings and his ANC has let down in the mud, has left us to immediately identify the major counts that have caused the Cummings Youth Movement CYM serious embarrassment from its members and supporters throughout the country. Because Mr. Cummings' over ambitiousness and political greed has caused the Cummings Youth Movement to officially disembark her support to said political leader in its political institution. So, oh. count number one, on the mining of the opposition block, Mr. Cummings and his ANC continue to portray themselves as pretenders to the progress of the CPP, creating a scene wherein the Liberian people are confused and out of decision to reason whether the CPP is united or not. The fielding of candidates in Grand Cape Mount County Senatorial by election, wherein they, ANC slash Cummins, pretended as if they were supporting the CPP candidate that gave rise to CPP being defeated in the process. 
Mr. Cummins continues showing up with Mr. Ta Wongbe as the candidate of the CPP in Nimba, wherein the CPP is yet to officially decide is a gross disrespect to the collaboration. Stop! Count number two. Over political greed. Mr. Cummings and his ANC eagerness for power is beyond any sense of political understanding. Greed has led Mr. Cummings to refuse the chance to serve the Liberian people when he was asked to contest as senator in order to understand the dynamics of governance in Liberia. Mr. Cummings claims that he won't contest any position below the presidency, convincing us Liberian people that his character is so greedy for power and that will lead to his overusing power in an arbitrary manner. Count number three. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen of the press, the illegal interference and taking away of members of the CPP. Few scenarios including the illegal recruitment of Larry Youngwe and other senior CPP officials is also a clear calculated plan to derail the fabric of those political institutions. This attitude of taking away staunch partisans of other and other members within the CPP is not just disgruntled, but politically incorrect and completely out of order. Meanwhile, this is the constant habit of Mr. Cummings and ANC to enter and disorganize the collaborating political parties for selfish gains. Stop. However, this act we view as a movement to be very pathetic and astute and not accepted for a healthy collaboration which stands to be the hope for a better Liberia. Count number four, over ambitiousness. This is clearly manifested in his love for power with no sense of prioritizing national interest but self-interest. His continuous outbursts on media outlets that he must be the standard bearer of the CPP or anything lesser than this will cause he and his ANC exit from the CPP is a practical evidence. So. And count number five, lack of respect for leadership. This is very essential whenever a man claims to be a good leader. But Mr. Cummings and his ANC current verbal attacks on Ambassador Joseph Nima Boaka, one of the senior political leaders of the CPP, is totally unacceptable. And this action vividly described the true identity of Mr. Alexander B. Cummings, a true dictator. With these comes and said actions from Mr. Cummings and the ANC party has left us, the Cummings Youth Movement CYM, to immediately, effectively denounce and dissolve our support from today onwards. And we call on the CPP to expel Mr. Cummings and South. the Alternative National Congress from the collaboration. South. South. Because his aim is to destroy and divide the CPP and contest single-handedly comes 2023. So, we believe that if the collaboration should be a force to battle the current field ruling establishment, it must be done collectively for the betterment of all Liberians and not selfish personal interest, an attitude of Mr. Kumis and his ANC political party. However, Leaving the ANC today does not mark the end of our political sojourn. Stop. Stop. We remain committed and we will continue to remain in the confines of the CPP and officially join one of the collaborating political parties prior to the CPP official merger in a few weeks from now. Stop. 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 We are indeed confident that our decision here today is for the greater good of Liberia. So. And may God bless this fallen nation. Long live the collaborating political parties. So. So. Long live the youthful renaissance of the Republic of Liberia. So. So. This official resignation and the official 
denouncing and dissolving of the Kumi's Youth Movement is hereby signed by senior executive members and attested by top officials of the Kumi's Youth Movement. So, so, so. Signature one to the official resignation document is Comrade Abdul Lodge, the revolutionary Maurice Supreme Rapu. So, he so. is the Kumi's Youth Movement co-chair on mobilization and recruitment, Republic of Liberia. So, attesting number two, or signature two, Joshua Francis Carr, co-chair for operations. So, 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 so. Number three, Caris Fambule, executive member and co-chair of administration, Kumi's Youth Movement. So, Mr. R. L. Dan, executive member, Kumi's Youth Movement. So, Ms. Roxina Baba, CYM Women Presiding Chair. So, attested by ABLP Vani, co-chair on press and propaganda. So, the communication is signed officially by the Comrade Adil Lodge Dolotopa, who is the official Secretary General, and approved by the Comrade Adil Lodge Ben Believe Topa Jr. and in my capacity as Chairman, officially approve the resignation and dissolving of the Kumizu movement from the Alternative National Congress. So, so, thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. We are listening attentively from his articulation, it's now clear that the Kumisu movement is formal.